what's happening everyone it's Kyle from Magpie247 I hope you're all good now it's been some week hasn't it it's been uh, it's been it's been one for the courtroom though more so the football but today um it's going to be more about the football as Newcastle take on Wolves at Molyneux this weekend um the thoughts on it are very much are very much the same as it usually is can Newcastle get another win Another, I say another win. I, I said, I've, I've just said that. That's on record. I've just said that Newcastle getting another win. Uh, but <laughs> what happened with this season? Of, stop being fucking daft. Um, so Newcastle look still looking for their first win uh, in the Premier League season, picking up three draws and three um three wins. But um, I want to leave the preview this week till after I seen Steve Bruce's press conference because last week I didn't do that and um. He drew up a couple of corkers, mind. Um, to be fair, he said in one answer regarding his thoughts on the cat case, he could have literally used he could literally use that for any question he gets asked in my in in football at any given stage of his career, um, with the answer of, I haven't got a clue to be honest. Don't know what don't don't know what it means. Pretty much, <laughs> yeah. Do you know football? Do you know what formation we'll play this weekend? I haven't got a fucking clue. <laughs> you fucking don't. But, <laughs> like, out of the press conference, uh, the most alarming one was, um, I prefer Joe Linton on the left. So why play him up, up front for two years? I, they, uh, <laughs> I, 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 I just, like, I can't think of the words to comprehend this man anymore. Like, it's just like... It's like it's like the seven stages. It's like accept. It's like I'm at the acceptance bit now. I'm just accepting he's a bit of a fucking idiot, and we're just kind of waiting until he goes away, kind of thing. That's kind of where I'm at with that one. Um, but obviously that's that's the pre-match press conference, um, summed up. But going into the game this weekend, we're still without Callum Wilson. I think, um, Martin Dubravka got trained, but Bruce has said he's not playing. But he said Willock wasn't playing last week, so I, I don't know. Like Your guess is as good as mine, he'd probably be playing tomorrow. But more than likely, we'll be sticking with the 4 2 3 1 against Watford, because I think they'll go off bad luck, didn't get with three points more so than um, whatever it may be. So they'll stick with that, but tomorrow we're against a much more solid outfit, I think. I think Wolves are a fantastic team. They've got some good players. I mean, Jimenez is back from his from his head injury, which is good to see him back. But every time he's played Newcastle, he's always been a handful. So probably not the not the best time for us. But yeah, um, we're going to struggle with him tomorrow, I think. Especially if we're a to a back four, and then you've got Adama Traore who can get in behind, and obviously if he gets any space at all, he will. He will hurt hurt you, and like the one place we've been really weak this season is the wing the wing back position in particular, or the full back position. Um, we've been ripped apart there a couple of times this season with the Southampton winger, uh, Jeanette Rowe having a field day, uh, Ben Rama at West Ham having a field day, uh, uh Rafinha it uh, for Leeds had a field day against where all because we can't kind of handle with good wingers. And I feel Adama Traore running at Matt Ritchie tomorrow is a very worrying um a very worrying th- thing going into the game tomorrow. Uh, so for me I'll I'll go with Jamal Lewis. I think people have been calling for Jamal Lewis for a while now. Um which for me makes a lot of sense. I wouldn't drop Matt Ritchie though. I play Matt Ritchie further forward in like the reason for that is I think Matt Ritchie's needed on the field, plain simply because of the effort he gives and the standard he sets among his teammates. And I think that, that counts for a lot of things. And yeah, you might say like Matt Ritchie's not been good enough this season. And they're all valid points. Uh, he's been out of, about a form. He hasn't he hasn't shown the Matt Ritchie of old. But one thing you will get from Matt Ritchie's determination, hard work, and he will give his teammates a kick up the arse when need be. So I think Matt Ritchie should still start, but play him further forward. Um, because obviously that left wing position is changing every week. I don't know if Fraser will play or not, but I think Matt Ritchie should take that position, play Maxi, Miggy, and then obviously Joe Linton or if if. If you don't want to play Joel and play Gale, I don't know which way they'll go. I don't know what way they'll go with it, but 
for me, Matt Ritchie would still play, but Jamal Lewis would play also because I think Matt Ritchie will really struggle with a with a Dom in his in his pace. But it is going to be a tough tough game tomorrow. Wolves always you you always play a wing back system. Uh, with a back three, Cody, Dion Decker, and um, oh, I can't remember the other the other lad's name. Bolly, I think it is. Um, a solid back three. Obviously, they use the wing backs to push forward, but it's one of them games where I think we could really threaten. But uh, it could also be a, it could also be a goal fest tomorrow, in my opinion, because I look at it and it's like the pace they have on the break. And how open we can be at times on the break. Like there was a couple of times against Leeds, for example, we were on the attack we got caught, and it was like three on three situations, three on four situations, because of how open we are. Because we don't have, we don't have mobile, we don't mobilize the team when we defend. Like when we had like a couple of years ago under the previous manager, Rafa. Like we used to mobilize quicker, but now we just don't mobilize, kind of thing, which is um, a testament to Bruce. But but never mind. We're on the counter attack. We're very uh, susceptible, and more we kind of like under Bruce in particular, we're very susceptible to to a counter attack. Man United had a field day with it. Uh, just took one ball half the ten. Ronaldo's one on one. That was the second goal they scored. I think a couple of weeks ago. But can Newcastle get the win tomorrow? Um, I think we can get a point. I think a point would be a good result. But we really do need this win win before the international break because if he doesn't get the win and we go into the international break in the bottom three, that game against Tottenham's huge. And like, no wins in the first seven is very alarming for me, especially given we've only played one of the proverbial big six. Um, in that time, and we've had a lot. We've had a couple of home games where you'd say it's a winnable game, and then I'm looking towards December as well, which looks really bad. So, for me, it's really a case of Newcastle need to start winning some games if they want to stay in the league. And I know there's a lot on the um on the cat case and stuff. And me and Paul are going to do a a podcast. We're going to record a podcast next week. Uh, get the get this international break out the way, and then we're just going to sum it all up as best we can. Um, but from there, it's it's just like it, it's just. I hope we'll have a podcast to go in. Like we we've got a podcast where we can say we've won a game of football because we haven't won one for a while. But um, I. There is no use think uh, of how the how how we're going to set up. Do you think we're going to set up with a wing back system again, or do you think we're going to go with the four two three one? Um, do you think we can get a point, or do you think we can get three? How, like, get get your predictions in in the comments below. But um, I'll be doing the review after the game tomorrow. Um, so yeah, there is no there is no use think, and I love you and leave us for now, everyone. And yeah, catch you in a bit. <laughs>